Your Excellency Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Your Excellency Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa. Honorable Ministers and Permanent Secretaries who are here present. Excellencies Ambassadors, Leaders of the Security Organs, Distinguished Leaders from Government Institutions, Members of the Delegation from South Africa, my fellow journalists, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gerson Usigwa. I'm a director of Presidential Communications. Your Excellencies, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you to this very short session this morning. It is a press briefing. As the people of SADC awaiting your approval uh, for the Swahili language to be the fourth official SADC language, allow me to switch to Swahili as I will be taking the floor on Swahili. And for those who cannot follow Swahili language, don't worry, you may tune in channel number one. You will be offered the English interpretation while you are working to speak Swahili and understand Swahili. Welcome. Siabonga. Waishmuma Raisi, Nandugu Viongozi, Mkutano huu na wandishu habari, unarushu wa moja komoja na vituo vya radio, television, na mitandao ili wananchi wa Afrika Kusini na wananchi wa Tanzania waweze kujua kinachoendelea ama kilichojiri katika ziara hii ya kitaifa ya Rais wa Jamhuri ya Afrika Kusini Mheshimiwa Matamela Siri Ramaphosa kiongozi ambaye wamemsubiri kwa hamu kubwa na kwa siku nyingi wakitambua kwamba anakuja ndugu wa Tanzania na anakuja nyumbani Mheshimiwa Marais bila kupoteza wakati kwa heshima na taadhima Naomba nianze kuwakaribisha ili mzungumze na wananchi wa Tanzania na Afrika Kusini na kwa nafasi ya kwanza naomba kukaribisha Mheshimiwa Rais wa Afrika Kusini na natambua kwamba kutokana na historia yetu ungependa kuitwa zaidi ndugu kuliko muheshimiwa ndugu Siri Lomofosa karibu zungumze na wananchi karibu sana Nia Bonga Thank you program director his excellency president Magufuli Honorable Ministers and uh, from our respective countries, officials from our respective countries, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, members of the media. Let me take this opportunity to thank President Magufuli for inviting the delegation to visit the Republic of Tanzania. Indeed, our home away from our home. I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude the most wonderful and warm reception that has been given to me and my delegation Tanzania. Tanzania. We've concluded successful bilateral discussions on the Tanzanian side by Kwa upande wa Tanzania na Afrika Kusini. Our visit to Tanzania is ziara yetu hapa Tanzania. Inaonyesha mahusiano ya karibu kabisa. South Africa kati ya Tanzania na Afrika Kusini. Kwa kuangalia historia well yetu lakini pia mafungamano ya kiuchumi na kijamii na tunafurahi kwamba mahusiano haya yameendelea kukua siku hadi siku eh wakati tukiendelea kushirikiana katika majadiliano yetu na mheshimiwa rais na fursa ya kufanya maamuzi kuhusu maeneo mbalimbali ambayo ni ya maslahi ya pamoja tulieleza ni lazima tuweze kutumia fursa zingine ili kuweza kukuza zaidi mahusiano haya katika maeneo mbalimbali ya ushirikiano tulionyesha dhamira yetu ya dhati katika sekta mbalimbali za mashirikiano 
kati ya serikali zetu mbili ili kukuza mahusiano baina ya watu wetu kukuza biashara kati ya serikali zetu mbili E, ili tuweze kuwekeza zaidi katika mataifa yetu e, kuna uendelezaji wa miundo mbinu e, hasa katika eneo la nishati South Africa and Tanzania offer excellent business opportunities to investors and President Magufuli took his time to explain that the, ex the opportunities are plentiful here in Tanzania and that he is inviting businesses from South Africa with open arms to come and continue investing here. He appreciated and applauded the fact that there are some 228 businesses from South Africa that conduct business here employing no less than 21,000 people. He felt that he should appreciate this and ask us as South Africa to invite more businesses to come and invest here. As Tanzania continues to create a conducive environment for business to operate uh, in this market that's creating lots of jobs. We also expressed a deep wish that we would like to see Tanzanian businesses investing in South Africa. We also wanted to extend the number of products that we can buy from Tanzania We also appreciated the fact that Tanzania has had a bountiful harvest in the past few years and that it has been able to get bumper crops and we would like to take an opportunity to buy a number of the crops that have uh, uh, been the great fortune that Tanzania has had. We exchange views on political, security and economic developments in the region and reaffirmed our shared commitment to work together in pursuit of sustainable peace, security and stability. And in this regard, I particularly uh, informed President Magufuli that we are looking forward to the SADC summit that is to be held here in Tanzania in the next few days under the capable leadership Chache zijazo e, chini ya uwenyekiti wa mheshimiwa Magufuli tukasema kwamba tuta tutamsaidia atakapokuwa kichwa and leading our region to further political stability and economic integration we are prepared to work with him and Tanzania to ensure that the chairship of Tanzania yields the type of results that Tanzania would like to see. Regarding our continent, we noted with satisfaction the recent launch of the operational phase of the African Continental Free Trade Area at the AU summit that was held recently in Niger. We reaffirmed our commitment to the African Union Agenda 2063 ya Afrika We believe that the flagship project emanating there will ensure and enhance our continent's ability to compete in the global sphere. We further reaffirmed our commitment to the UN Agenda 2030 and reiterated our common view on the need to reform yes the United Nations. We also agreed to continue sharing perspectives on a number of other multilateral issues in conclusion i'd like once again to express my sincere gratitude to his excellency president makufuli for inviting me to this beautiful country and president makufuli did not waste time in informing us 
that you would like to have Kiswahili to be recognized as a key language, a fourth language, and we have said we agree that we should embark on a pilot project, and uh, he was delighted with that, so we are really happy with that. I'm also delighted that he has accepted my invitation to visit South Africa at a mutually agreed date. And when he comes to South Africa, we will have an opportunity also to, as he's been teaching me Swahili ever since I arrived this morning, so we will take the opportunity. We have 11 official languages in South Africa. Uh, he only knows of one, which is English. We will take an opportunity uh, to give him basic lessons as well in the other 10 <laughs> official languages. Thank you very much. <laughs> Asante sana mwishimu wa rais Asante sana mwishimu wa rais Na bila kupoteza muda Baada ya maneno hayo mazuli Ya mwishimu wa siri la mafosa Rais wa jamuhuri Afrika kusini Ninawe heshima sasa kukaribisha Mwishimu wa Dr. John Pombe Magufuli Rais wa jamuhuri ya mungano wa Tanzania Karibu mwishimu wa rais Mwishimu wa matemera Sirele la Mafosa, Raisu wa Jamuri ya Afrika Kusini, Waishimua Mawaziri kutoka Afrika Kusini na kutoka Tanzania, Waishimua Maofisa wa Tanzania na Afrika Kusini, Ndugu wa Nahabali, Mabibi na Mabwana. Kwanza kabisa napenda kutumia fursa hii kwa niaba ya serekali, na kwa niaba ya wananchi wote wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania kumkaribisha nchini mgeni wetu ambaye ni ndugu yetu na kaka yangu mheshimiwa Siri la Mafosa rais wa Jamhuri ya Afrika Kusini mheshimiwa rais tunakushukuru sana kwa kukubali kuja kutembelea Tanzania asante sana kama mjuavyo Tanzania na Afrika Kusini zina uhusiano mzuri ambao umekuwepo tangu enzi za harakati za ukombozi wa Afrika. Urafiki wetu ulichagizwa zaidi na urafiki uliokuwepo kati ya baba wa taifa letu Hayati Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere na baba wa taifa la Afrika Kusini Hayati Nelson Mandela. Kwa bahati nzuri viongozi wote waliofuatia wa nchi zetu wameendelea kuwenzi na kuhudumisha uhusiano huu. Tumekuwa tukitembeleana mara kwa mara. Binafsi mtakumbuka mwezi Mei mwaka huu nilienda Afrika Kusini kushiriki sherehe za kumwapisha kaka yangu Mheshimiwa la Maposa. Hivyo basi ziara yake hii hapa nchini inatoa fursa nyingine ya kuendelea kuukuza na kuimarisha zaidi ushirikiano uliopo ndugu na habari muda mfupi uliopita mimi na mheshimiwa rais la mafosa tumefanya mazungumzo pamoja kwanza tulifanya mazungumzo ya faraga na kisha tukafanya mazungumzo rasmi mazungumzo yetu kwa ujumla yalijikita katika kuimarisha ushirikiano wa kiuchumi kama ambavyo amezungumza yeye mheshimiwa rais kama mjuavyo Afrika ya Kusini ni nchi yenye uchumi mkubwa barani Afrika. Inashika nafasi ya pili baada ya Nigeria. Na ni nchi pekee ya Afrika iliyopo kwenye kundi la nchi ishirini tajiri duniani, yani G20. Na kama mjuavyo sisi Tanzania nasi tumejipanga kuhakikisha kuwa tunatumia rasilimali zetu nyingi tulizonazo ili ikifika mwaka 2025 angalau nchi yetu iwe ya uchumi wakati. Hivyo basi katika mazungumzo yetu tumejadili namna ambavyo mataifa yetu yataweza kuimarisha ushirikiano wa kiuchumi hususan kwenye maeneo yafuatayo. Eneo la kwanza ni biashara na uwekezaji. Eneo hili la biashara na uwekezaji ni muhimu. 
Tanzania na Afrika Kusini ni washirika wakuu wa biashara. Tunaongoza kwa kufanya biashara ndani ya jumuiya ya maendeleo ya Kusini mwa Afrika yani SADC. Mwaka jana 2018 thamani ya biashara kati yetu ilifikia dola za Marekani bilioni moja pointi moja nane kutoka dola za Marekani bilioni moja pointi moja moja mwaka wa 2017. Sisi Tanzania tuliuza Afrika Kusini bidhaa zenye thamani ya dola za Marekani milioni 743.02 ambayo ilikuwa ni sawa na asilimia sabini ya mazao yetu kwenye nchi za SADC na asilimia 16.7 ya mazao yetu yote nje ya nchi. Kutoka Afrika Kusini mwaka jana wa 2018 tuliagiza bidhaa zenye thamani ya dola za Marekani milioni 437.2 Kwa upande wa uwekezaji kituo cha uwekezaji cha Tanzania tangu mwaka 1990 kimesajili mitaji 228 kutoka Afrika Kusini na hili pia limezungumzwa na mheshimiwa Rais Rama Foster ambayo thamani yake ni dola za Marekani milioni 803.15 na imetoa takriban ajira za watu moja elfu. Hii imefanya nchi ya Afrika Kusini kushika nafasi ya 13 kwa kuwekeza nchini na kuwa nafasi ya nne katika nchi zote zilizowekeza nchini ambazo ziko ndani ya bara la Afrika. Hivyo basi wakati wa mazungumzo yetu mimi na mwanzangu Mheshimiwa Rais tumepongeza mafanikio yaliyopatikana kwenye nyanja hizo za kibiashara na uwekezaji. Hata hivyo tumekubaliana kuendelea kushirikiana ili kukuza na kuimarisha zaidi biashara na uwekezaji kati yetu. Na katika hilo nimempongeza sana Mheshimiwa Rais Rama Fossa kwa kuamua kuja na wafanya biashara ambao muda huu wanakutana na wenzao ta, wa Tanzania. Tumetumia fursa hiyo pia kumweleza Mheshimiwa Rais Rama Fossa kuhusu hatua mbalimbali tunazochukua ili kuboresha mazingira ya biashara na uwekezaji nchini. Ujenzi wa miundombinu ya usafiri wa umeme, kuanzisha maeneo huru ya biashara, kupunguza utitiri wa kodi na utitiri wa taasisi za usimamizi wa masuala ya biashara na uwekezaji pamoja na kuanzisha wizara mahususi ya uwekezaji. Haya yote nimemfikishia Mheshimiwa Rais Swala lingine ambalo tumejadili nalo ni kukuza sekta ya viwanda. Eneo la hili la viwanda kama mnavyofahamu Afrika Kusini imepiga hatua kubwa katika maendeleo ya viwanda. Tumemwalifu Mheshimiwa Rais la Mafosa kuhusu azma yetu ya kuwa nchi ya uchumi wakati unaongozwa na sekta ya viwanda ifikapo mwaka 2025. Hivyo basi kupitia kwa Mheshimiwa la Mafosa Nimewakaribisha wafanyabiashara kutoka Afrika Kusini pia kuja kujenga viwanda nchini ikiwemo vya kusindika mazao ya kilimo, mifugo na uvuvi, viwanda vya madawa, viwanda vya kuongezea thamani kwenye madini na kadhalika. Kuhusu swala la utalii tumekubaliana pia kuimarisha ushirikiano katika sekta ya utalii. Hususan kwa kuongeza safari za treni za watalii kutoka Afrika ya Kusini kuja nchini kupitia reli yetu ya Tazara. Aidha tumekubaliana kushirikiana kutangaza vivutio vyetu vya pamoja. Kama mjuavi wa Afrika Kusini ni miongoni mwa nchi zenye kutembelewa na idadi kubwa ya watalii barani Afrika ambapo huwa wanatembelewa na wastani kwa mwaka watalii milioni kumi. Sisi milioni moja na laki tano tulikuwa wanatembea milioni moja pointi moja. Kwa hiyo utaalamu huu na ujanja huu wa nchi wa wenzetu wa Afrika Kusini tunataka tujifunze kwao pia. Sambamba na hayo kuhusu utalii tumekubaliana kubadilishana uzoefu na utaalamu hususan katika kutoa huduma kwa watalii. Aidha nimewakaribisha wawekezaji kutoka Afrika Kusini kuja kuwekeza hapa nchini hususan katika ujenzi wa hoteli na kuendeleza utalii wa fukweni. Sisi kutoka Moa hadi Msimbati kuna zaidi ya kilometa 1424 na, 
ambazo ni potential area kwa ajili ya utalii. Kuhusu madini eneo jingine hili nalo ambalo ni muhimu sana kushirikiana hususan ni katika kubadilishana uzoefu na utaalamu wa usimamizi wa sekta hii aidha nimewakaribisha wawekezaji katoka Afrika Kusini kuja kujenga viwanda vya kuchakata na kuongeza thamani ya madini yetu hapa nchini afya nayo tumeizungumza kama alivyozungumza mheshimiwa rais kwamba katika bajeti yetu ya kununulia madawa kwa mwaka huwa ni zaidi ya bilioni mbili sabini lakini karibu asilimia tisina nane ya fedha hizi huwa zinatumika kununulia madawa kutoka nje tumewakaribisha wenzetu kutoka Afrika Kusini waje wajenge viwanda vya madawa na vifaa vya tiba ili fedha hizi ambazo zinapengwa kwa ajili ya kununulia kutoka nje basi viweze kununuliwa hapa hapa ambapo kwa njia hiyo madawa yatakuwa na bei rahisi lakini pia tutakuwa tumetengeneza ajira lakini kitu kingine ni kwamba tutabadilishana utaalamu ambao upo kati ya Afrika Kusini na Tanzania tumemwomba pia vile vile tumemwomba nchi ya Afrika Kusini katika eneo la kujenga uwezo wa wataalamu wetu wa dawa za usingizi na huduma za magonjwa maututi na dharura yani intensive care and emergencies ili kusudi tuweze kushirikiana kwa pamoja. Swala lingine ambalo tumezungumza nale ni kuhusu swala la ulinzi. E, tumekubaliana kwamba tuimarishe katika swala hili na nimemuomba baadhi ya wataalamu wetu wa maswala ya ulinzi waende wakapate training kule na amekubali na tutazungumza na viongozi wanaohusika ili tupeleke kule kwa ajili ya training na ametoa offer bure akisema sisi tuliwa train watu wao hii ni zamu yao ya kututraini sisi na hili nimefurahi sana lakini kama tulivyozungumza pia na yeye ameelezea kuna baadhi ya vifaa huwa tunavinunua maelfu ya kilometa kutoka Tanzania wakati vifaa hivyo hivyo viko hapa karibu Afrika Kusini nimemweleza na kumhakikishia kwamba sisi tutakuwa vile vifaa ambavyo tunaweza tukavitumia katika shughuli zetu ikiwa pamoja na magari na vitu vingine ambavyo viko pale na vyenye quality tunayoitaka tutaenda kununua Afrika Kusini badala ya kwenda mbali na tumefanya hivyo kwa kununua pikipiki ambazo zitatumika kwenye mkutano wa sadeki tulizonunua Afrika Kusini ili fedha zetu na dola zetu tuzipeleke Afrika Kusini kilometa chache badala ya kupeleka thousands and thousands kilometers away from Tanzania. Swala lingine ni maswala ya kimataifa ambayo Mheshimiwa Rais ameyafafanua vizuri na kwa ujumla na kwa kifupi sana hayo maswala tuliyoyajadili kwenye mazungumzo yetu na mpendwa kaka yetu mheshimiwa rais la mafosa na napenda kurudia tena kumshukuru kwa kuja kututembelea sana tunamshukuru sana yeye pamoja na ujumbe wake asanteni sana asante sana mheshimiwa rais asante sana mheshimiwa dr john pombe magufuli rais wa jamhuri ya muungano wa tanzania Mheshimiwa Rais na ndugu viongozi kwa ratiba yetu fupi niliyoahidi e, ndio imeishia hapa ilikuwa ni kuwasikia kwa yale yaliyojiri leo na baada ya hapo tuwaruhusu mweze kuendelea na ratiba inayofuata Santeni sana siabonga